Hi Pen fans, this is Brian at the Edison Pen Company. I hope that everybody is doing really well. Hey, a quick video blog update to make you aware of a new nib offering that I have in conjunction with Richard Bender. Uh, two or three months ago I started talking to Richard about what the possibilities were for getting a fully flexible 14K nib, something that would be you know, along the lines of what you would expect from a vintage pen. Um, in obviously a modern configuration and we came up with something that I think is awfully impressive so um, I'll give a demonstration of this nib and you can see about what to expect and then I'll come back and kind of talk a little a couple more details about this nib all right okay so I have three pens here that I'll use to demonstrate this is an 18 karat extra fine standard Edison nib so this is what you would expect just basically an unaltered 18 karat nib. This, for comparison purposes, is one of my favorite vintage pens. It's an E Faber with a really nice flex nib. So this is just a good representation of what you would expect from, you know, standard vintage flex. Um, and then this is the Richard Bender nib. Um, I think you can, I don't know that I can get a good close up, but the work that's gone into this is pretty phenomenal. The edges here, the wings, have been trimmed. Uh, the curvature of the nib has been altered and the feet has been altered so there's been a lot of modifications that went into this nib to make it right the way it does so let me show you how these are going to perform okay so this is stock Edison extra fine has not been altered yeah, you, can, you can see it's got a little bounce it's got some flexibility when you push you can go to a relatively thin line to a thicker line as you like you know, for a, for a modern, unaltered nib, not bad at all. And now this is the E Faber. Pretty nice vintage flex. Little railroad there. You'll go from a pretty thin line to a pretty thick line. couple of railroads and then this is the Richard Bender nib whoops little railroad there it gets awfully thick when it when it wants to so again awfully impressive that a little railroad there awfully impressive that a modern nib would offer you know I, I think it's safe to say that this is actually giving me a bit more line variation than what the E Faber and the vintage nib was doing you know the 18 carats not bad of course for a stock nib straight out of the box that's acceptable line variation but this is awfully impressive. Richard has really done some awfully phenomenal work on this nib. I've had them for about a week or so now. I've been playing with them and I can't stop playing with them. Although I feel like an amateur musician holding a Stradivarius. You know, I, my handwriting is just not good enough to properly uh, use and exploit this nib and, and, and write with it the way that it really wants to be written with. So anyways, I'm very, very impressed with these nibs. Richard has done a phenomenal job on these. Okay, so that's how these nibs uh, write. That's what you can expect from these uh, altered nibs from Richard Bender. Um, like I said, I've had these for about a week now, and I'm having trouble putting them down. It's, it's a lot of fun, and it's pretty phenomenal that you can get, you know, uh, a modern nib to write, you know, just as good as a, um, as a vintage flex nib, or at least, you know, in, in many cases, it might even write with more flexibility or more wet noodle if you will than what a lot of vintage flex nibs will do um, so that being said the good news with all of these is that we have these inventoried um, unless we sell them out really fast uh, we have all of these inventoried um, all of the, the the tip sizes that I'll mention in a second and then uh, so it, unless we sell them awfully fast there won't be any waiting on these and then when my inventory gets low I'll contact Richard and have some more made and have them sent out to us so unless there's a rare exception there should be no waiting on getting these nibs on an Edison pen um, so pricing 
Uh, there are a couple different tip sizes that can be ground for you. If you wanted a standard fine, then the cost is 85. Uh, now this is in addition to the cost of the pen. The cost that I'm quoting here is just for the flex alteration. So a fine would cost 85. An extra fine, a double extra fine, or a triple extra fine will be 135. And then if you wanted to go all the way to a quadruple extra fine, then that would be 150. However, Richard is not recommending this for beginners. A nib like that uh, should probably be in the hands of someone that has good experience with flexibility and how to write with it and how not to write with it. In addition to this, on my website I will put up a link to Richard's site that discusses a bit about flex nibs and care and make sure that you know if you push these nibs too far, you can have a problem. So anyways, that's it. I'm really proud of these nibs. Special thanks to Richard Bender to, uh, for agreeing to work with me on this and collaborating with me on this. And if anybody has any questions, then just reach out. All right? Thanks.